Hey guys, Rashid here from rmbsinglessons.com. All right, I'm going to show you how to harmonize. Now, I've got my camera set up here on my iPad, and there's an app called Acapella. We're going to go into it. We're going to go into creating a new one, record new. Yes. All right, we're going to select one, let's say, classic. We're going to do three part harmonies with a... Um, with a lead vocal, something like that. So let's try. Uh, which one should we do? Something like this. So three harmonies and a lead vocal. We're just going to do a short time, like um, 30 seconds, just so we can get the gist of how to do this. Not too long. All right. So we're going to do a song called um, Mysterious Girl by Peter Andre. Now it's got four chords uh, all the way through and the chords are, so on the keyboard here you're going to see the chords are C, A minor, A minor, F, G. C, A minor, F, G. Okay, let me just get this camera right. Okay, so it's going to be C, E, G, A, C, E, F A C G B D those are our notes okay so as it's chords it's a bit hard to play it on this small piano but it sounds like this but oh, it's really hard it's so small okay it's hard for me to play it on this piano but it, it sounds something like this here we go that sounds better Okay, so it'd be like, oh, oh, mysterious girl, I want to get close to you. That's the main melody. So let's just try to get that. I'm going to show you how to do it in this Harmony app. All right, this filming is a bit different for me, so it's a bit, uh, I'm going to try to get it right. So you click on the one you want to create, and let's, let's get this camera going here with the iPad. And it's going to be, I'll move this mic out of the way. It looks a bit funny. <laughs> that's the mic that's actually recording audio, the one that's in the way. All right, that's good enough. Nah, nah who cares? Anyway, you can see it. This mic is going to record the audio that's going to go into the iPad. So, so many microphones. <laughs> so I'm going to record, this is the harmony I'm going to record first. I'm going to record this C, A, F, G. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So it's going to be the first note of each chord. All right, here we go. First note of each chord. Let's go, go for it. Okay. Ooh. stop there all right and now we're going to record the next note of the chord so the next Ooh. notes will be hmm. i can't hear that because i haven't got my thing plugged in here but i'll listen to it in a second uh, i'm sure it's right and the next note will be uh so for, we played c a f G. That's the ones we just did. Now from a C chord, the first harmony is an E. And then from the A, it's a C. And from the F, it's an A. And from the G, it's a B. So you just count up, if all you're using all the white keys, you just count up one note. That's just like a theory of music. So this is just an idea to give you how give you how it works, not a full theory lesson. But anyway, it's gonna be mm, ooh, um, Ooh, 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 ooh,
I'm just going to change my earphones so I can hear myself in the iPad. First one was wrong, so I'll redo that. If you get lost, always go back to the piano and it'll help you find where you are. E C A B. one will be um, so C this last harmony of the C chord is a G last harmony of the A chord is an E last harmony of the F chord is a C and last harmony of the G chord is D so it'll be uh, ooh, ooh, am I doing it in my low voice ooh, so G E C D G E C D myself properly so what I'm gonna do is lower the volume on this because as you record more parts it starts to get louder so I'm gonna lower the volume so that the other harmonies don't overpower my hearing so I can still hear myself because I can't hear myself in my earphones with this gadget that I'm that I'm currently using I'm using this Tascam IXZ mic guitar interface which plugs into the iPad as you can see then through that, I've plugged in the microphone that you're seeing here. Okay, that's that's the pretty much the setup. And then through here, I've got the audio that's in going in my ears, which I don't hear myself speaking, but I do hear when I play the iPad. And the other cable is going directly into my laptop, which I'm using to record. So you can hear the audio through this video, which you don't need when you're using it. Okay, let me find it again. G G. E C D. Yeah, you can take a. It's just recording. I'm recording. Just yeah. E C D. E C D. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. just recorded all three harmonies okay now I can record my lead vocal on top of that um, I don't know if I recorded at the right tempo mm -hmm. oh. 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 I might have recorded a bit slow but anyway let's do it and see how it sounds. So I'm gonna just listen listen to these harmonies first. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, 
let's do a little test run. Ooh. Ooh. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, my mind wants to explore. Ooh. The tropical scent of you takes me up on All right, cool, that way. Something like that. So let's try now. So ideally, I should have figured out the right tempo before I started and maybe clicked, and that might have made it better. But anyway, uh, let's get out of this preview and let's record a lead. Stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I started too high. I, I. Ooh. Ooh. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. Ooh. I try to concentrate, my mind wants to explore. Ooh. The tropical scent of you takes me up above. Ooh. Girl, when I look at you, oh, I fall in love. Okay. Not perfect, but it's good enough for this example. Ooh. Let's have a listen to that together. Rendering. This is fun, right? It's cool. Ooh. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I try to concentrate. Okay, that's good enough. So then, what I'll do now is you can change the levels. So you go in here. We're gonna put this lead. We want it to be the loudest. So it's everything set to loudest already. So what we'll do is we'll leave that at the loudest, and we'll drop these down around about here. The rest of them. They kind of sound nice, their levels together, so we'll leave them all at the same level. We'll bring this down here, so the lead vocal stands out a little bit more. We'll put up the reverb around about there, and put up the reverb on all of them. It gives a nice, cool sound. We're not going to use any other effects, just reverb. It's nice enough. I don't know if there's any tuning effects here. If you guys want, if you're having trouble singing like perfectly on pitch, you might want to use a tuning effect. I don't know if it has it in the process, so you can look into that. But this is all I did for my previous videos that I made. Let's see how that sounds. Ooh. Ooh. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, my mind wants to explore. The tropical scent of you takes me up above. Girl, when I look at you, oh, I fall in Nice, and if you want to just hear one of them, you can click that, click the one you want, and click this button here. I stop and stare at you, walking on the sh- For example, if you can't figure out- I try to concentrate- If you can't figure out where a mistake is. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, my mind wants to explore. The tropical scent of you takes me up above. Girl, when I look at you, oh, I fall in love. Okay, okay guys, I hope that helps you. I stop and stare. Learn how to do harmonies. So the basic rules for harmonies, whenever you're in 
in using just the white keys, the key of C, any chord, the harmony is you just skip a key. So if you want to if you want to play any chord, it'll just be three notes together. So the three notes together will be like if you're starting on a C, it'll be C, skip a note, E, skip a note, G. So you don't do any black notes. Okay, say you want to do a chord starting with A. It'll be A, skip a note, C, skip the D to the E. Okay, so if you want to play some chords that I didn't play, such as D minor, it'll be D, F, A. If you want to play the B, it'll be B, D, F, for example. You know what I mean? If you want to play the E, it'll be E, G, B. They all go together. Any of those chords, you can mix them together. This starting, if they're using all white keys, they all work together. As long as you skip a note, they work together and you can make your own harmonies. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.